these motivational stories once again. So once upon a time, in a kingdom in India, the finest of the royal horses was taken down to the river to be bathed. The grooms took him to the same shallow pool where they always washed him. However, just before they arrived, a filthy dirty horse had been washed in the same spot. This horse had been caught in the countryside and had never had a good bath in all his life. A fine royal horse sniffed the air. He knew right away that some filthy wild horse had bathed there and fouled the water. So he was disgusted and refused to be washed at that place. The grooms tried their best to get him into the water, but could do nothing with him. So they went to the king and complained that the fine, well, trained royal stallion had suddenly become stubborn and unmanageable. It just so happened that the king had an intelligent minister who was known for his understanding of animals. So he called for this minister and said, Please go and see what has happened to my number one horse. Find out if he is sick or what is the reason he refuses to be bathed. Of all my horses, I thought this one was of such high quality that he would never let himself sink into dirtiness. There must be something wrong. So the minister went down to the riverside bathing pool immediately. He found that the stately horse was not sick, but in perfect health. He noticed also that he was deliberately breathing as little as possible. So he sniffed the air and smelled a slight foul odor. However, he found that it came from the unclean water in the bathing pool. So he figured out that another very dirty horse must have been washed there, and that the king's horse was too fond of cleanliness to bathe in dirty water. The minister asked the horse grooms, Has any other horse been bathed at this spot today? Yes, they replied, Yes, sir. Before we arrived, a dirty wild horse was bathed there. The minister told them, My dear grooms, this is a fine royal horse who loves cleanliness. He does not wish to bathe in dirty water. So the thing to do is to take him up the river where the water is fresh and clean and wash him there. They followed his instructions and the royal horse was pleased to bathe in the new place. The minister returned to the king and told what had happened. Then he said, You were correct, your majesty. This fine horse was indeed of such high quality that he would not let himself sink into dirtiness. The king was amazed that his minister seemed to be able to read the mind of a horse, so he rewarded him appropriately. You see life in your life. There are those of high standards and quality, whether animals or people, which refuse to compromise their principles or dignity, even in challenging situations. It empathizes the importance of maintaining one's integrity and purity, regardless of external circumstances. This goes for your way of life or the way you think, that you live from the inside to the outside and try not to affect yourself by outer circumstances, by negative people or energies. Sometimes, the people with the purest of hearts and best of intentions refuse to partake in a society that has turned dirty and has lost all morals. And so, the society thinks that these people who value their cleanliness, who value their principles and dignity, that something is wrong with them but instead, we should have a look at the water in the bathing lake. Maybe it is just too dirty, and maybe we should clean it once again. This is Once Upon a Time Motivation Stories. Thank you so much for watching, and stay blessed.